I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, November 23rd. I already had a look through the clues, and I think this is uh, very difficult. There were only, I think, two that I had some idea about. Let me uh, jump to those. I think this was the first one. <laughs> I think I got all the way to the bottom. Uh, joint investment in bank ledger. Uh, that investment is very misleading, but um, it's a joint that is invested or found in the letters of bank ledger, so ankle. And then I did go back and I saw, what was the other one? Um, uh, something about food. Not seeing it. Uh, Oh, here we go. So I think this is right. Article in Serial, Something to Eat, 5-4. Um, and I merely thought that maybe wheat goes around the answer. So it might start with uh, W-H and end in E-A-T. And then I thought of meat. And maybe because today is Thanksgiving, I thought of white meat. And so article is usually A or Z, but here it is item. All right, so with those two, do I have enough to uh, get my teeth into this? Uh, let's go back to the beginning. One across Spooner's glimpse behind Spooner's obscuration. 3-6 was the Reverend Spooner, of course, was famous for switching the initial consonants when he uh, spoke. Um, but here you, having him twice is very confusing. And then obscuration, I suppose, is hiding something, making it obscure. Yeah, not getting that. Here, charming thing replacing British leader in PM once with leader in multi-millionaire. So that's very odd phrasing, a leader in PM. I presume, of course, it could be in the afternoon, but it uh, can also be prime minister. So I was wondering if there was a four-letter prime minister where you re replace the B of their name with an M, the leader in multimillionaire. And replacing the leader once maybe suggests there are two Bs in, uh, in that PM. And then what is a charming thing? Um, I think it's probably not a person. It's um, maybe an item used for a magic charm. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, you know, in voodoo or in something else where you might have a magical charm, but nothing as far as four letter PMs, uh, pit, of course. Um, but that's all I can think of. Almost nothing that is absorbing moisture initially, so that sounds like M, and then drying mixture. So I wonder if the answer is a something that is used as a drying mixture. Uh, and you take a two-word phrase, maybe that means almost nothing, and put an M in it. Uh, there is that stuff, alum, right? A-L-U-M. But uh, I'm not sure if that's it. A jacket shortened, very hot. So I think it's going to start with A, and then almost all of a word meaning jacket but the very hot has a question mark, so 
They may be stretching the definition of the word. Um, dog dash spaniel question mark. Again, the question mark worries me. I mean, a word that means both, but a spaniel is a dog. But to dog somebody can be to um, follow them, or literally or metaphorically to keep an eye on them, worry them. Um, dog. Yeah, not getting that. Grating a third of cheese. Why put on loose fragments? Um, well, shrapnel would be loose fragments, but not getting the uh, third of cheese, and then the why put on loose. Uh, well, loose, I think he yeah, has the but the grating, um, yeah, I'm not even going to put it in. Small red and white rats. Well, white could be the W. I was thinking S for small, but I would expect something for red immediately after the S, and that the whole thing means rats which could be uh, snitches, um, but it's, uh, I mean, SW is possible. Small red and white rats, of course, could be an exclamation like rats, so bother, <laughs> something like that. Good long periods after horse vaults. I think this might mean vaults. Maybe, maybe G for good. But then long periods after horse. Um, horse can be just H. To begin with a gh and then a word for long periods, uh, eons, uh, ages. Ages actually makes sense. And vaults can be jumps, but I think it maybe is more likely to be um, to be places you store things. Yeah, I do like it ending in A-G-E-S. That would mean six down ends in an A, which could be the name of a country, but I don't get the uh, race part. Anyway, let's go back to uh, 16 across. Mixture potato served to Mennonites, but no starter. Is there another name for the uh, Mennonites? Then you remove the starting letter. Again, we have a mixture. We had our drying mixture earlier. No, not getting anything there. Additional pair of letters for dictator. Well, Hitler comes to mind immediately, but I don't see um, yeah, how you would get that from the wordplay. Where porridge tasted by European, but not an egg, say. Yikes, I have no idea where the definition of that is. Um, just looking at the letters, I mean, it could be West something. 
I mean, if it is a place where porridge tasted by European suggests there's an E in there somewhere. Well, we do have an E, but maybe another one. Um, left leaning lefty minister in speech. No, nothing is, uh, I mean, having two, I mean, maybe it means left leaning. And then we have an L for lefty in the wordplay. And then a word that sounds like minister. But uh, not getting that. Fireplace, something cold or warm, then hot. Well, hearth, looking at the uh, six letters, um, ends in H for hot. Something cold or warm can be a heart, I suppose. It seems a bit of a stretch. I think that's a very vague way to give the word heart, if that is right, something cold or warm. Anyway, let's uh, move on to 25. Uh, still figures increase joining factory, and we have a K. Well, factory can be works. Um, well, still figures could be wax works. Oh, yes. Uh, wax means increase. Uh, waxing and waning. Oh, that's useful to get a W and an X. Let me um, look at 22 down then. Very repetitive climax. In Jimi Hendrix tune then, Foxy Lady. Well, <laughs> Foxy Lady has to be Vixen. Um, v for very. Repetitive climax. Okay, I can see the climax in Jimi Hendrix tune then is I X E N. That word repetitive seems um, completely unnecessary. I, well, I mean, they need something for the surface read, but uh, who did this crossword pull? I, someone will have to explain to me why repetitive is needed there. I mean, I would have said uh, maybe very short climax, a so very short is V, and then the climax in. Maybe repetitive climax means you have to get the, um, the ending of all of the words, so you do it repetitively, but I still... Yeah, I don't like that. Anyway, we got a V, which is uh, very useful. That's for our left leaning, lefty, minister in speech. Well, minister could be vicar. So maybe it's a word that sounds like vicar. Then the, is the definition left-leaning lefty? That, like, do they mean it's someone who's extremely leftist? No, I'm not getting that. Let's look at 18 down, because we have this W, which should be useful. One's idiotic hum. One's could be I-S. Then idiotic. Um, silly twitch. I'm trying to think of something with a W. Yeah, if it was IS and then hum. But has a question mark, so I think. I think a hum can be slang for a bad smell, like somebody was humming. But maybe that's just an Irish thing. 
I don't know if the English say that. Um, but not getting that, so let me get rid of the I. Oh yeah, that would make 16 across and in I, which is possible if it's something to do with food. Um, linguini is too long. Anyway, I'll get rid of that. Um, 26 across, we have a T, Rockstar Bedding, very old model. Well, I did think it might have a T in it for the model T. So is it the name of a Rockstar Jagger or but what's a four letter with a T as the second? Bedding could be a cot or um, crib. Oh, um, unless we separate, I mean, again, I always fall into the trap, um, which is very, of course, human of reading rock star and thinking it goes together. But maybe it's a word for rock. And so star, three letters star, beds the T, meaning surrounds it. Sun is, is the obvious. And then stun for rock as a verb. I suppose if something rocks you to your core, then it stuns you seems to play a little bit fast and loose. I think, you know, I used to do cryptic crosswords when I was a young man um, many years ago. And it seems to me like the definitions of words are getting a little more playful if you want to put a positive spin on it, but uh, maybe a little more loosey-goosey. Is there anyone watching this who's been doing cryptic crosswords continuously for a long time and has more insight into that? I would love to uh, hear your opinion. Uh, 17 down, Ace of Diamonds, 4-3. Well, um, there is a baseball term comes to mind. Would you find that in The Guardian? Namely a home run. So in baseball diamonds, although the diamond, I think, strictly speaking, is just the, um, the uh, base pads between the bases. Uh, I don't think it really means the whole ballpark. Does it? Maybe it does. Um, let's see, home run. I mean, there is the question mark, which I think they use as a get out of jail free card to say, I'm going to stretch this a lot, um, home run. That would give us for our mixture with the potato and the Mennonites, something I, something H. Uh, could it be a fish? Fish something. Where does the potato come in? Potato um, spud or mash? Oh, it could be maybe. Oh, how about mishmash is a... Oh, Mennonites, of course, Amish, but with no starters, it becomes Mish. All right, I like that one. Uh, no issues with that one. Uh, 18 down now begins with, ah, so not an I, but an H. Ones. A uh, ones could, of course, be his. Well, no, I think ones is usually your own, my, um, but ones idiotic. Um, what words fit highway? 
but I can't make that work. Hum. And one's idiotic. No, I feel like there's something just at the back of my mind, but it's not coming to the front. No, having an M here should be useful. Where porridge tasted by European, but not an egg, say. Could be E-A-M. E R M E L M Porridge tasted by European. That's another um, name for porridge, oatmeal, of course, but um, I think this shorter word, what do uh, they call it in Scotland? Oh, I should know. Um, all right. This is proving very difficult after, uh, well, of course, I looked at it before I started recording, and now we're 20 something minutes in, and uh, nothing uh, so far. Uh, hardly made a dent in it. Oh, I haven't looked at 14 down. I don't even think I saw it earlier. Shuttle breaks with it. Shuttle breaks with it. I was thinking of an anagram, but um, we have an A, which, you know, unless we anagram breaks, Shuttle. No, nothing uh, comes to me there. What are some ones I haven't looked at? Uh, one down, image, digital fake by the sound of it. Wow, digital fake. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Hoax, phony, AI. No, nothing. Uh, two down, drop a girdle over. Well, that has to be an anagram of a girdle. Right, so uh, let's try that. I haven't had much luck with the anagram helper, but... And it should mean a drop. Well, it could be drop of as a verb. Or um, a noun. It could be a synonym for a drink. Air glad. I do wonder yeah, if the A D G E Lyridge Rylage Gradile, that's a nice word. Radial Drop. Gear lid. Wow. Not getting this at all. Drop.
draw off by zoom discontinue. No, I'm not getting that one at all. Uh, green OBE. Well, green can be eco-friendly, it can be a beginner, naive, it can be jealous. Um, green. And then OBE is an award. Award. Green. Yeah, green can be a green space. Field. OBE, a gong. OBE, nope. Um, firstly, eagle drops after cuckoo leaps over the moon. Is it a word for over the moon? Meaning literally or just um, elated, excited. But of course, over might indicate we have to turn something around and it might just be the moon. Well, let me get rid of that uh, G. Um, and then firstly, I was looking earlier at the first letter of each word. We have EDA. C L O T, and uh, I thought well, maybe that's a moon on some other planet, but I don't think so. Firstly, eagle drops after cuckoo leaps over. Nope, not getting that. A tidy lower field. I'm thinking lower is a cow, someone who lows. So is it um, a word for tidy that starts with cow and then a word for field? Or is it a, the definition is field and it's something for tidy followed by cow? No, maybe it's not lower, maybe our cow, maybe it's down, something down. Could be a field. Or uh, down something to tidy. Nope, here's our cross country race possibly ending in A. Algeria, Nigeria. America, cross country race. What kind of race? A sprint marathon? Nope. Nonsense passes as, <coughs> excuse me, expression of glee. Nonsense passes. So I think it might be synonyms for nonsense and passes and the whole thing is an expression of glee good golly no that's our shuttle well, this is an interesting one corrupt board after business in Spanish city. This is one where it seems like we've too many words. I'm thinking, well, the definition maybe is a Spanish city. Oh yeah, maybe it's a, an anagram. Ah, that is it, yes. Anagram of board after CO for business. Uh, Cordoba. Uh, yes, finally. Here's our additional pair of letters for 
dictator question mark no not getting that what else did Cor Cordova give us um, left leaning lefty okay so the R then means not uh, the vicar but what else verger left leaning could it actually be literally to the left sinister left leaning lefty minister in speech oh verbal is in speech but um how do we get it from the word the the left leaning lefty minister oh uh, i think maybe if we read it left to right ah uh, so l a b is uh, someone who's a member of the Labour Party. So, so that's our lefty in this case. And then Rev is the minister. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, yep, I'm happy with that one. Figure in biblical text, inspired by head, powerful leader. I am wondering if it is a figure in the biblical text is the definition but um, not sure who that could be otherwise um, maybe we put something inside OT or NT for Old or New Testament inspired by I'm not sure what that means um, for wordplay, but oh, inspired, maybe the head of inspired, and then the whole thing doesn't mean a leader or a powerful leader. I'm not even sure what figure it could be. Okay, shuttle breaks with it. Um, having that H maybe might help. Um, ah, yes, yeah. I was thinking, uh, just looking up the letters that we have that spaceship fits which is a um, space shuttle is a spaceship breaks are spaces and with it means hip uh, so that's a good starting letter now for our figure oh so potentate certainly is a powerful leader now we just have to work out why a uh, figure. So we do have OT. Uh, we have OT here, but we also have here, and we have the word 10 within OT. So, uh, of course, we also have a T down here we're no shortage of where we could stop the OT um, inspired by head powerful I think maybe yeah I think powerful maybe is the P at the start but um, yeah, I'm not sure I fully can work that out, but I will leave it 
for now. Ah, um, half wit fits, but I don't see how you get it from the uh, definition. One's idiotic hum. I would put an L here where porridge tasted by European, but not an egg, say. Not an egg. Maybe it's a chick, not an egg. No. What else fits in here, if not half wit? Idiotic hum. No, I'm not seeing um, that at all. Um. Yeah, I'm not. Very confusing. Does anything else occur to me about my horse bolts? Um, I was thinking of storages, but I don't think that's a word, is it? We get our long periods, but our horse, S-T, could be a saint. Um, a horse can be a bay mare, of course. A dam damages. Um, is there a tan horse? still think it might begin with no I think it's maybe something gauges so good long period would be gauges after a horse for volts oh a nag of course is a is a horse um Nagages? I don't think so. Um, but maybe it's not ages for volts. Nag. Good long period. Periods after horse. Volts. Nagions. Nagions. Eras. I'm sure I'm close, but just not getting it. Let me get rid of all of these. And that. I'm going to pause and just on pen and paper I have more luck working out the anagrams so I will try a girdle see what I find no I'm not seeing any anagram of a girdle that's a seven letter word um, unless something like gladier but um, yeah I'm so I may be completely wrong that it's an anagram but um, yeah, not getting that. Anything else come to mind on a jacket shortened very hot? So what's a word for very hot? Which could be attractive or just, um, I mean, obviously temperature, but I think the question mark indicates, oh, well, maybe like stolen goods are hot as in you're getting hot you're close to the answer 
No. Okay, so um, I think this is going to be rats because it ends in S. So small, red and white. Red and white, I suppose, can be um, wine and S. So could it be swines for rats? It fits. I think though, if, if this is the right answer, I would have said red or white. Oh no, I suppose, no, sorry, you're, yeah, you do need the uh, both to be wines. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Um, all right, let's see if the extra E in spaceships gave us anything useful for our, our porridge tasted, but I don't think so. Where? I think it has to be a, a place. Now, is that a geographic place or just a a location where porridge tasted by European but not an egg say no and nothing for my dictator no All right, I'm just uh, looking at the comments down below and uh, took ages, according to Idle Jog, uh, to the islands that didn't understand 26A and 17 down. So yeah, that um, I think what I thought was a bit of a stretch and 17 down was the home run. And somebody said not everyone grew up with that particular sport. So, yeah, that's going to cause problems for a lot of people. Um, stuck for ages in both the northeast and southwest. Well, I got somewhere with the, obviously with the southwest. Just both the norths have been my downfall. All right, I think I'm going to leave it here for this video. And... Um, uh, later this afternoon, I might come back to the crossword, see if I can work out any of these, but uh, very, very tricky today. Uh, anyway, let me know if you enjoy these crossword videos or if you just skip over them. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.